since the Habib Nurmagomedov fight fell apart, I mean, have you heard anything about what's next? Uh, there was a few things that were in order. Uh, we were trying to get a fight in before Ramadan. Uh, but Khabib doesn't want to fight. Uh, he just has a lot of issues going on with his stomach. Um, we're trying to figure out who's next. But uh, I don't want to go backwards. I want to obviously go forward. And uh, I think Nate Diaz with his ranking at number eight and then Michael Johnson and so on and so forth. I'm kind of just chilling right now. I'm um, enjoying my time being a father and, uh, and uh, having fun with this stuff. We were talking a little bit here about how the, the fight fell apart, you know, what you went through. What was your week like? Oh man, initially I was in a dream state, so I woke up, I was like, man, what happened? And they told me I was pissed, real pissed. But I said, you know what, it's all right. Let me get a day, let me take a day and I'll think about it. Went to the fight, and then at the fight, this is when it started sitting in, I was getting pissed. I was like, ah, oh. man. As soon as I saw them walk out in the main event with the belt, and then I saw the fight at the main event was kind of lame. I was like, man, I can go up there and I can beat these both these guys at 170, give these guys a good show. But that was what I was first thinking, but uh, it just sucks. Immediately I was just thinking, I was like, F All the people that were waiting to watch this fight, they probably feel just as bad as I do. Has there been any conversation about Nate Diaz? I've certainly seen that on social media, but has there been any real talk about it? I'm down for the Battle of California. I mean, he wants to represent 209. I'm from 805 in the Oxnard area. And uh, I think obviously my hands are a lot better. Um, I think this game is about the glory and not all about the money. Um, obviously you have to make your peace in this industry, but uh, Nate, if you don't want to fight, man, I think move on, retire, go do something else, man, because uh, we're here to fight in this industry, and uh, everybody else is taken, so uh, yeah, Nate be the next one up. If Connor doesn't step up, they'll make an interim belt. I think they're going to make an interim belt either way. Um, I just think, like, interim is just a word that they throw around a lot, and uh, it's going to be thrown in my way. Um, I don't think anything else is going to change right now. Connor's obviously the favorite at my weight class, but I don't play favorites. Uh, I, I knock them all out. Uh, I finish him, Dars or knockout. So it doesn't matter, man. The uh, division's full of uh, guys moving up and down in weight classes or going to fight in other different types of sports. Uh, but we're real here. Uh, this is a shark tank. I'm a hammerhead still. And you're going to see these guys come to my division and I'm going to chew them up and spit them out. This is my division. So uh, that belt, yeah, we need to fight for that belt. You said, yeah, you've been enjoying fatherhood. I think actually. Uh, Chasing after my little man, keep me on my toes, and then like just every little thing that that little dude finds, I always try to pick it up before he gets to it, and just keep me on my toes, man. I, I might have been a handful when I was a little kid, but I'm looking at my little man, and he's he's a cool dude. Uh, uh, just kind of sucks that during like training camp, you have to spend some time away from your family, but uh, it's a small price to pay for what we do. Uh, UFC, baby.